All right, here we go. Sheik Looch of the Mighty Locks. <laughs> Welcome Vlad, back to Vlad TV. Vlad, 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 Vlad. What's poppin', Kat? Oh, man, always a pleasure. Absolutely, always good to see down. you, man. Listen, I mean, let me tell you something, Vlad. Like, hey, when everybody be like, man, I'm not going to do the Vlad interview, I said, I'm, I'm going, man. I'm coming to fuck with my bro, man. 100%. Of course. It, it's, of course, it's too many man. years. Too many years. Too, it's been like 20 years. I'm talking about from like major shit to little hood interviews to like, yo, this always on the scene type shit. And people, you know, and I, I say that from back then, from back to Super Mario and all that shit, man. Word. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm looking, you're at the new studio right now, the New York studio. What do you think? Yeah, this is dope. This is dope. I see the drum and shit. You got a drum behind me and shit and all that. It's mm -hmm. nice. It's nice. Shorty Thank came you. downstairs, met us and shit, gave us waters. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Well, let's get into it. You know, right, we've done uh, other interviews before, so we've co covered a lot of topics. Absolutely. But there's certain things that I want to cover this time. Yeah. And, you know, first of all, you have a new song called Loyal or Stupid. Yeah. Loyal or okay. Stupid. And that, you know. It's self-explanatory, man, as far as being loyal for the wrong fucking reasons. And these young boys, this not, you know, because anything I say right now, I'm, I'm definitely talking from a different age right now. I'm 100 years old, Vlad. So, like, it, so my, my definition of keeping it real is different maybe right now than what it was back then. You know what I mean? So loyal or stupid is like, don't be loyal to these dudes that's not really loyal to you, man. You know what I mean? Or, or, or to, even to themselves. So that's why I called it that. Yeah. Well, this brings me to my next question because the biggest news right now in hip hop is the YSL Rico case. Mm. And I think this is where loyalty is really being, you know, pushed and questioned and, right. you know, and so forth. You know, from your point of view, because mm -hmm. what's happening right now is, you know, 28 people got arrested, everyone mm. was given Rico charges, but a lot of people have taken plea deals right. and have admitted that YSL is a gang. Yeah, and same. have, you know, done, yeah. they've seen him do criminal activities and so furtherance crazy. of the gang and so forth. Yeah. And these people are walking away. Gunna is one of them. Mm. Uh, Lil Duke is another. A few other people have walked away. But the Young Thug main trial is about to start. Wow. I mean, from your point of view, because you guys have really been, you know, very much no snitching, you know, Absolutely. the streets and so forth. Absolutely. When you see this unfold from your point of view, what do you think? I th no, listen, I think it's I think it's all the way horrible if if you... if Whatever you're involved in, man, if you're not going to go all the way with it, man, it's it, it's no place for that kind of shit to even, like, yo, uh, how can I say this? Like, to, to, like, to snitch, to snitch to all that, yo, you're supposed to keep it real and this and that. Nah, fuck that, man. You can't, if you in it, you know how, how homie said uh, before, uh, like, yo, uh, let me get my shit right, because I, I, I got I to gotta be all the way, like, serious with this shit, uh. Thug, you, you, you know, I will get rid of all these motherfuckers around you, man, and this, and this, like, yo, this, do your, take whatever they're going to give you, man, and this, then that's that, though. Don't stop relying on these other guys, man. They're not down with you. How about that? Yeah, I mean, it's an ugly situation because I've been talking to lawyers that are And I don't know these, to the me, like, I don't even know these rappers to even speak on them as far as, like, uh what happened or what happened all the way out there and all that shit. But dude, from what I'm seeing, it's crazy. And I know he's sitting back like, God damn, we was homies. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've talked to lawyers that are connected to this case. And what's really scary about this situation is like, for example, Young Thug is facing a Rico. Mm. And he's got a bunch of charges around that Rico. And how the lawyer broke it down to me is that the way Georgia law works, because it's a state RICO case, okay. that if he gets, gets convicted for even one of those RICO charges, that's 20 years. Mm. So you could have the best lawyer, you know, all five charges will get dropped, he breaks it all down and so forth, you get caught with that one charge, and it's a wrap. And it's you got all these people right? who are taking plea deals, who are saying, why sells a gang? Why sells a gang? Why sells a criminal organization? Some of them are going to have to be taking the stand as part of their plea deals. And it's... Uh, if it's everybody would have just shut the fuck up, nobody would have been in that much trouble. I mean, they know what they know, of course. We know that, right? They know what they know, but still, there's no space for niggas talking, man. That's just making everything worse. Everything worse. That's why they separate you. They give you separate lawyers. They do all that kind of shit. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but look, I mean, God bless the, <laughs> you know, I don't even know Thug like that, but yo, God bless you, bro. I'm, you know? It's fucked up for you. 